everyone how you guys doing this is me red blade return with a new video and today i'm going to make a guide about uh, dragon heart stage 10 team and i've been using this team for a while and i think it's 100 percent win day it didn't lose at all any fight so let's get into it actually so let's start with the team breakdown and the team setup so Nishak is there for damage and basically Seer is there for damage. Nishak is the main damage on the boss and the wave while Seer will help you like melt down the wave more quicker. And Duchess and Pythion will be re reviving constantly and giving protection to the team while Kaimar will reset. So for the wave 1 Round 1 Nishak will prioritize his A3 and A2. For wave 2 he will open up with his A3 and then it will be skill turn off. And on dragon, main dragon it will be auto, all default. And for Kaimar he will not do his A3 at the wave 1. On A2, wave 2 he will begin with A3 and on main boss it will be default on python he will basically you can keep it default on wave 1 on wave 2 you need to turn off his uh, a2 so he will cleanse on main dragon and actually you can use the a1 as a default skill on a3 round 3 for seer you just need to prioritize her a3 so she will use it as much as she can and you can just turn off her A2 on the main boss so she can possibly take some extra turns on A1 and that is it's going to be like default you don't really need to do anything with her so let's start with my first run and see how our team does it's basically I built these random champions for like uh, Duchess and uh, Python as normally arena and stuff and I built Nishak for Bommel but they are like doing good work already <laughs> as a team so it's a random team but it's uh, providing you a hundred percent win with a good amount of time you can see how hard Nishak's bombs are hitting right now Nishak is like uh, really getting a value surge when he was like new we didn't really think he would be too good but he is like too good at hydra too good at dungeons too good at bommel he's like too good everywhere and his decrease attack is like handy for the boss as well so he's dealing like a lot of damage to the boss And you will see when we get to the boss why I'm using uh, two revivers because my seer and basically my Nishak is very squishy so they will constantly revive them for more damage. So yeah we reach the boss and Nishak will use his A3 first and then turn into A2. You see that decrease attack and increase attack it neutralize maybe if i would like give seer some good amount of accuracy she can strip the main boss uh, increase attack but overall we are doing good one minute 45 this is going to be like uh two and two minute and 15 second to two minute and 30 second and maximum two minute and 30 second and is like uh, not the bad uh, not the best thing in the world, but it's not too bad either I'd say and brimstone is also playing a major <laughs> damage Damage source for the fight Oh, so we <laughs> we did a personal record With a two minute and seven second. Yeah, just right on the <laughs> video <laughs> Let's rerun this as well. I did like uh, the entire tournament of dragon and there's not a single time this team lost so this team got like 100% win rate for me at least Nishak is like too good to be honest 
the way he eats bombs, melt waves, and if something left, he will put the poison. He's like too good. I never thought I will start using him this much. <laughs> I just built him for Bumble only, and all of a sudden he came in to my teams and. Even on higher, I'm thinking to use him as my main DPS and try to make a third team because I'm still not doing brutal <laughs> and I should do, I should try for it at least. Come on, do it a little faster. It takes like 1 minute and 10 seconds usually to get on the boss. The first wave can like uh, take 30 seconds, sometimes it's like a little more, but usually it's 30 seconds. And the maximum time which I saw was 2 minutes and 30, but this team got like sustain, this team got damage, so you don't need to worry about like losing your battles and I don't think a fast team will be better if the run rate, win rate is like not too good. So, maybe uh, I can build the team with Seer and Dark Kill where Dark Kill will do all the work. You see, we died right there and that just revived us and then we will die again possibly. Oh, we actually survived. So usually how I have this team is like my Nishak and Seer, they attack and then they die. Then Duchess revive and then again boss take her turn and then Python revive so it's like uh, they both get a chance to reset their school quickly and cycle around so it's actually good. Two minute and thirty second. Yeah that's usually uh, if the RNG is like not the good. Yeah two minute and thirty two seconds. So that's the team, that's the run and we can actually let me show you some stats first stats of the champion we used recently used first okay let's start with the chis or seer let's start with seer so she's like uh, the main thing which i focused on her was her crit rate to be 100 percent her crit damage to be 300 percent that's it that's what I focused maybe I should bring more accuracy to her but she is like doing the job for me so in terms of masteries I went for flawless execution my Kaimar is like having good amount of speed so he will cycle his ability faster and he got just accuracy for arena in terms of masteries, I got Eagle Eye for more accuracy. Nisha got like good amount of attack, good amount of speed and accuracy. These are the stats I focused on. And on masteries, I by mistake selected War Master. I should go for Giant Slayer actually. Maybe it could be a difference if I was having it. My Python is like a reviver build in a stone skin and defined set. He got all the reviver masteries, timed interval. And my Duchess is also like. Uh, built as a reviver, good health, good defense and good speed with a great amount of resistance. So that's it, that's my team. And in terms of her masteries, she's defense and support like the usual reviver masteries. And just for fun, let's end the video with some models on soul pull, yeah. Let me buy these mystery shards first. Yeah. And also I completed like 50 fragments so I'm halfway there on the Supreme Elohim Fusion. 
Gucci will be good, I guess. But a white Lego is always good for you. In, unless I, in future, I'll be getting dupes, and that's how usually it, it, it is. Okay, starting with Glorel, we don't need you. <laughs> an epic kill, and I don't think I have him. Maybe he's maybe new. More maiden two star. I think I already have her at two stars. And we ended up at fanatic. <laughs> so that's it for the video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep on supporting, and let me know in the comment below if you want to see guide of anything or what kind of content you would like me to do. And that's it for the video. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. We've been a million places.